Hiya folk. Just come on, I'm in the middle of um making my ATC using one of the napkins. Now the napkin I've chosen this time is this one here. Now it's obviously really colourful. Um loads of decoration on it. Initially I was going to choose the bird to focus on. But when I place my ATC over it, there's a fair bit that's going to be chopped off. Um, obviously, I would have preferred to have the whole thing on it. So I chose not to use the bird. And I chose this panel up here with the butterfly and the cherry blossom at the back. Um, so it's like that size there. I have already chopped it out and that's it there. So I have got some, oops, here's in it, not great. Anyway, I've got a down PVA, it is just a neat of tacky glue and I've just got a plain brush really. There's nothing major to it. So I'm just going to um, brush over my ATC with the watered down PVA. And it's just quick layer. And then put my napkin over it. Now, starting from the centre, I'm going to just brush out. Just making sure I'm still on short. And I'm using quite a bit of PVA on this so that it um, stretches a wee bit. And I'm just turning my work rather than moving round about it. And it also means that you can see what I'm doing. There is creases in it. I'm absolutely fine with that. Because I'm obviously going to alter over it. And where my finger is, it's probably going to stick, but it doesn't. Um, here you'll see I have torn that a wee bit. So what I'm going to do is just try gently to edge that up a wee bit. And kind of try to merge it together again. Where it hasn't quite covered it, I'm just going to um, layer a wee bit of the excess on the card. In fact, forget that. It's just um, a bit of a, a doctoring job. But because it's at the corner, I'm not really fussed. I could add a flower or something over that just to um, weed it out a wee bit. Um, and I'm just going over it with another good layer of this. So we've got that. Now, to help with um, colouring over it, I have got another trick that helps a lot. 
I'm just making sure these edges are down well. Now, the wee tip that I've got is your um, spare. When you've cut your panel off that you're going to use, put that over the top of it. Okay, so I'm just going to do this as carefully as I can. And I'm going to start at one side and go over it. So I'll start over here. And the panel's quite neat, so I'm trying to be careful how I put it on. There we go. So this will give it um, a nice kind of whitewash background. And you're just giving it a layer over. Because obviously the colours are so strong, this will help mute them. So when you get in your watercolours, it will be a lot easier to see where they need to go. And this layer, it doesn't really matter if it tears or not, because it is just to help mute it. You can, if you wish, if you feel it's necessary, go over it with second layer. But personally for me, I think one layer's fine, because I'll go over that with white watercolour or white acrylic if I feel I need to. So I'll just zoom in and let you see that. And I'm just washing my brush out. And I just mentioned on the top of my tubs what I've got in it. This one sits on my table all the time. That's just my normal PVA. I need this tacky glue. I prefer them. Excuse me. <coughs> Bless me. I prefer them in these tubs. They're easier for brushes. If I've got any fine detailed work, um, I can use the edge of my X-Acto knife or uh, what do you call it? A needle, anything like that, you can use it on the edge of it or a very, very fine bristle brush. Um, and I'll just zoom in and let you see this quite up close. So that's it there. And if you'll see it again, what the actual colour was. you'll see there's a big difference. Oops. So I'll zoom out and let you see the two of them together again. There you go. So you'll see the mute is quite different and once it's dry it'll be a lot easier to work with. Um, and having the two layers will also make it more absorbent. I am not cutting it down just now because when it's damp it will just tear. So this is just video one and I will come back um, once this is dry properly. I'm just going to let it air dry. I'm not drying it with the heat gun because having the PVA on it, it will bubble. And I don't want that effect on it because I'm going to paint over it. Okay, so thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon in part two. Bye for now.